So this piece is off of in, in Stone State Park. And um, the original, I'm going to go backwards in my Photoshop file. Just turn all these off and show the original piece. So that's the original photo, not too spectacular, really. I wanted to make it feel even grander to express the emotional part of it. And I think that was my goal, giving it that kind of grand feeling. Carol Faber is a digital artist. In place of paints and an easel, her primary tools are a digital camera and her computer. While her work is only possible through modern devices and software, the idea can be traced back to the 19th century art revolution of the Impressionists. In their day, Impressionists would use open composition, interpretations of light, and noticeable brushwork to evoke mood. And while Carol doesn't use a brush, her mouse and the software it guides do very similar work. And this particular piece is traditional prairie, where this is the original image, and uh, adding to that and adding the depth and color is one of the first steps I will do. And then I try to add in other parts of plants. And I kind of like some of the things where it, it breaks apart and it kind of makes you wonder about um, the edges or the surfaces or what those really are. So these are the final choices as I work through that whole piece. And that gives it more of that fabric, if you will, which isn't necessarily what you'd see, but maybe the beauty of what you'd feel seeing nature. For Carol's role in the 20 Artists, 20 Parks program, she chose Sioux City's Stone State Park, a perfect pairing as Carol grew up in the Sioux City area, and her lifelong connection to the park provides an additional layer of subtext to her work. School trips and picnics were the memories I had here, so the summer images fit. So this is all common area. Stone State Park is known for its unique placement at the northern edge of the Luss Hills. That terrain provides for beautiful overlooks, hidden groves, and hillside expanses, much of which can be found by car. But even with its reputation as a drive through park, Carol hit the trails for nearly all of her work, mixing and matching characteristics of each environment. One of the things I probably noticed the most is sky in this area, you know, good, a good line on the horizon. And uh, I photographed this in early spring and in early summer and in midsummer. And each time the qualities are different and I love this. This is totally different feel from when I photographed it. See how you feel like you're really part of the land? It, it almost makes you feel like uh, you're just part of it. It reminds me of home. To create her layered style of mosaic digital photos, Carol canvases each area and takes a multitude of pictures, looking for different elements of the landscape that help tell the story of each location. For the base photo, Carol takes a panoramic picture giving her work a grand sense of scale. But the most interesting part of her process is how all of this work is done with her smartphone. So one of the reasons I used the panoramic is there was a certain size I wanted to work my images and there's less piecing in the production or making stage. Who'd ever thought I'd photograph with a phone in my life? I never thought of that. It's not a purest way to photograph, that's for certain. While Carol may not be lugging lens and camera bodies around, her smartphone's approach allows her to undertake what she calls collecting. This places less of an emphasis on capturing the perfect shot and more on creating a collage of artful images that gives her audience an abstract and yet an emotional viewpoint. I'm constantly thinking about the smaller parts making up the whole. I know I have great respect for photographers who can make that whole image work within the camera. And I've done that too, but there's a great deal of fun in the process of collecting 
I just find that to be uh, a better way to think about that response after the fact because all those memories from past events come into the work then and uh, it gives me more time to reflect. Even with decades of experience in the Luss Hills, the 20 Artists, 20 Parks project allowed Carol the opportunity to find time and share new treasures of Stone State Park. Now with the project complete, she's excited to know there are still plenty of wonderful experiences left to collect. This isn't the most uh, scenic, right? But it was the best light and color and openness that I could find at the time I was photographing. Now it's all over the place. I'm driving and I'm thinking, I want to stop here, I want to stop here, I want to stop here. <laughs> so it just, uh, it certainly is beautiful. I'm always awestruck and I wish I had more time to capture it all. But this was time given and it, it's a, that's a great experience to have.